Welcome back. In this step, we are going to create a simple Terraform block and then play with the required version uh, attribute inside that respective Terraform block. So required version focuses on underlying CLI installed on your desktop. So if the running version of a Terraform on your local desktop doesn't match the constraints specified in your Terraform block, Terraform will produce an error and exit without taking any further actions okay so by changing the versions we are going to try the terraform in it and then observe what's happening okay so let's define a terraform block now and then start playing with that okay so let me come here and so we are in hashicorp certified terraform associate folder so we'll go inside terraform fundamental blocks in 03 and inside that 0301 terraform block and terraform manifest okay so let me clear this and we are in terraform manifest folder and if you see terraform block.tf so nothing is there okay so this is a commented stuff for our playing but here you don't find anything so let's go ahead and then create the terraform block now okay so inside this so i'll say terraform and again i'll check for required provide us okay so we are doing the required version now in the next step we'll look into required providers so i'll select one more time and select the required version and if i just say 0 0.14 what it is going to happen so we'll start with this one okay so i just said 0 0.14 should be my cli okay so now let's go here and clear this out and just say terraform in it okay so what it says is unsupported terraform core version okay so why because the configuration does not support the terraform version 0.14.6 okay our configuration whatever we have defined in terraform block.tf is 0.14 and the terraform version whatever you are seeing is 0.14.6 so your local version is 0.14.6 and in your configuration you have put only 0.14 so that's the reason it is not able to initialize the terraform configurations okay so now what you are going to do is we need to understand what are these operators okay so all these operators let's see those things once okay so if you go here and then you'll find something called in the references terraform version constraints okay so go inside this and then have a look about this one in a detail so anywhere that terraform lets you specify a range of acceptable versions for something it expects a specially formatted string known as version constraint okay so you can use these version constraints in modules provider requirements and then required version okay so in provider requirements is the next step which we are going to do and in modules section we'll see when we are dealing with the modules in section 11 or section 10 whatever it is okay so but in in three places you will play with these version constraints so one is modules and then another one is provider requirements another one is required version of your terraform block okay so now you can see that here if you provide your version if it is a provider requirement or your terraform version or whatever it is so if you provide like this what will happen greater than or equal to 1.2.0 and then less than or less than 2.0.0 so some version in between this it need to select and then use it so like this there are different operators available for us to use okay so equal to which says that allows only one exact version number cannot be combined with other condi uh, conditions okay excludes an exact version number so if you don't want to use one specific version number you can exclude and whatever is available on the day it will take that latest okay and here so you can use greater greater than or equal to less than and then less than or equal to also in the same way the most famous one which is this one okay so tilde with greater allows only the rightmost version component to increment again i remember means like again i repeat this that this is the very important constraint which we usually use on regular basis why because it allows only the rightmost version of the component to be incremented for example to allow new patch releases with a specific minor release use the full version number and when you say 1.0.4 will allow installation of 1.0.5 1.0.10 1 like that okay but it will not allow you to upgrade to 1.1.0 so with that said 
when you are using this uh, two two digits or three digits right so example if i say dot 3 right and i need to say like this okay so now tilde and then greater than and then 0 dot 14 dot 3 so now this should pass because the rightmost value right it will allow you to increment whatever is the latest available okay so now if i say terraform version which is my local which is local desktop is 0 0.14.6 and my configuration is 0 0.14.3 and now if i say terraform and then if i say init so it says that initializing the backend initializing the provider plugins and then it worked okay see and also the log file got generated so now if i try to reduce it to this much okay see what happens okay so i'll remove this dot log file okay and one more time i will try the init okay it worked okay why because 14.x whatever is there it is taking so with that said so dot 3 or dot x or whatever you want you can use with uh, this one okay so this is the heavily used thing for uh, terraform configurations to ensure that we are on the latest minor version upgrades of that respective provider requirements or terraform configuration requirements or the module related uh, version requirements so this is the heavily used one and in production configurations most of the time if they really don't want to disturb anything they use the exact equal okay so when you use exact equal and then try this now right it will fail with 14.3 okay but when i say with 14.6 which will match to my local desktop so it will pass so if you want to use exactly equal you can use r so one more is that is in production configurations people try to use maximum times this exactly equal or sometimes i am fine with minor version upgrades so i'll go with this tilde so these two are the major things which will be used at the production grade okay but rest all is for playing in a standard way like if you want to use greater than or equal to and then say 0 0.13 okay so your operator is working or not you can just check it okay so i am I will say I'll remove the lock file and then one more time it worked because you said greater than or equal to 0 0.13 it worked okay so like that you can play with these things and then see whatever you want you can define the way you want it and my standard way of doing it is always I'll try to ensure that the minor version upgrade is always uh, good for me and then it really do doesn't harm that's what I feel and then I put this in my lower environments and in higher environments i try to put equal based on the sensitivity of the environment but it's all is your choice which version constraint you need to define in your required version and also in required provider versions and also the respective modules whatever you design and whatever you are calling in your configurations so for those also versions so but the core thing here is you need to go through with this core version constraint behavior and their best practices and then use whatever is applicable for you okay so but if you see here root modules should use this uh, tilde and then greater than constraint to set both a lower and upper bound on versions for each provider they depend on so the most best practice we use is like we try to use this one for minor version upgrades after the means like right most version upgrades or we try to use exactly equal to ensure that nothing breaks for us at any point of time and then we'll take the upgrade of terraform related modules or terraform related versions as a separate project and then release it all are how we decide and then how we implement in our environments okay so with that said this respective section with this respective step of playing with the terraform block with required version thing is completed so in our next lecture we'll focus on the provider version thing i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye bye thank you